what used to be computer science, I think, is changing in a fundamental way. Uh, we're now going to start working with other departments. We were very insular for quite a while. But now, uh, an area which used to be called scientific computing is going to become an important area. Uh, it's sort of applied math. Mm -hmm. And people are looking in finance, in biology, in medicine, in economics, in any area, and seeing how, what the computer problems are and what is the underlying theory that needs to be developed. I don't know what human intelligence is anymore. I used to define it as the ability to solve complex problems. But I realize now you can solve complex problems without intelligence, with just computing power. Oh. And so we need a new definition of intelligence. What makes a good teacher is not how bright they are or how well educated, but it's whether they care about the success of their students. If you believe talent is uniformly distributed, like I do, China has 20% of the talent. The trouble is, is the opportunity is not there. There are many economists who say there are only two countries that are going to profit from the information age. And one of them is China, the other is the United States. And to succeed, you have to have data. And China has it, and the United States has it. I mean, we're going to become one world. We don't want to be China over there and the U.S. here. We want the U.S. and China to really integrate. It's important that we have not only a science education for people, but also a broader education so they'll understand how to make the, the world a better place for everybody and for our children and grandchildren. <laughs>